guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm very excited i'm doing another um haul or anti-haul new makeup releases and we'll see i have a folder saved on my instagram and it, i just go through trim mood and i save and i wanted to start doing these weekly and i think i'm pretty sure i said it in my last video that i wanted to start doing it weekly and i didn't do that because it's, i'm pretty sure it's been a couple weeks since i filmed this even though i'm gonna try to put this up friday i think i'm gonna put this up on friday but there's so many releases in here but first of all let's just go ahead and crack one I'm making it a little extra spicy today. I got the Aldi um, Advent Calendar from Aldi's. They had a hard seltzer one, and I got it. And I've been opening one every day, except for I'm a few days behind. This was from, I think, the third day. Yeah, it was from the third day. This is a Mandarin Lime hard seltzer. And it's only eight ounces. It's a small thing. I thought, why not do a little makeup releases? Let's talk about them. And I can have a little drink with me while I do it. Because not only do I have one, but I have another one in case I need it. So, we're going to go through Tremood. We're going to look at all these makeup releases. I'm going to try to be super fast because... I know I saved a lot of releases, and I feel like I want to skip over some. Most of this stuff is already out, and some of it is probably already sold out by now. But, oh, that one's pretty good. Okay, let's start out with the first one that I had saved, which was from Bessemer Cosmetics and the Mary Poppins collection. I'm going to go right off and tell you that this is a anti-haul for me. It just doesn't, it doesn't appeal to me. I wish I was like mildly interested at first when I seen it teased because I thought it was going to have like the Sleeping Beauty collection I got. I thought it was going to have like a mirror and stuff like that, but it doesn't. It has like a little compact with uh, face powders. There's two lipsticks. It looks like a nail polish. There's two lip colors, Mary Poppins. The whole set is $68. There's a practically perfect powder, and it says it's translucent, but it looks like a peachy colored powder, and, hmm, no, that's going to end up coloring my skin, I know, and they have like, um, oh, there it is, the lip and cheek tint, it's called Mary's Cream Rouge Lip and Cheek Tint that matches Mary's lipstick and comes in a custom tin with a matching floral pattern. A pink rouge with a hint of coral. It's just anti-haul. No. No. Not for me. I'm not like the biggest fan of Mary Poppins either. That's not one of my favorite Disney movies. It's okay. I've seen it. I've seen it a couple times. It's okay. It's just... It's not a Disney movie that I'm excited about. Next, I saved is from ColourPop. And it is uh, where they do every year. They team up with uh, NKLA. And it's called The Best Friends and Animal Society. All, no, all net profits from this set goes to The Best Friends and Animal Society. It's dedicated to ending the killing of dogs and cats in America's shelters. Which I love this. I wanted to get it and I ended up not... I ended up not picking it up because I was too busy buying everything else that I got. But it just looks, they're two super shocks. And they're so gorgeous. I think they still have them in stock on their website. I could be wrong. Y'all have to go check and see. But I just think it's so cute. They come together. It has little paw imprint in there. And then on the packaging, you see the one has doggy ears and then cat ears on the other one. I just love animals. So... <laughs> Yeah, I love it. I I would definitely haul this, and I think you should too, because the proceeds go to a good cause. They do this every year, and I just think it looks gorgeous, especially the lighter shade that's with the dog. That would just make, oh, that would make a great inner corner highlight. It would make a great one-and-done eyeshadow look if you just want to be very natural for the day. Just so cute. Okay, the next thing I saved was from Dior. We're going into the fancy fans now. 
which it says it's coming soon, and then it says around January of 2021, and then it says it'll keep you posted on here. But it, the packaging looks gorgeous. It is the Dior Skin Forever Cushion Foundation. Dior is now coming out with a cushion foundation. I'm not going to get it because if I get a cushion foundation, I want the M Cosmetics Cushion Foundation. And... Nothing from Dior appeals to me. Maybe I'm just not old enough yet. <laughs> I feel like Dior and those type of brands are for like older, more sophisticated ladies. That is not me. I'm never going to be an older, more sophisticated lady ever. <laughs> but I do. I see it with like the older, more richer lady wearing Dior and all those shades. That will never be me. So I'm anti-hauling it. I don't think you need this. It doesn't say how much it's going to cost, but I know Dior is expensive. And, yeah, it's a no for me, dog. Next. Next, we have Sugar Pill. No. Denied. anti haul. Next. <laughs> it's the Capsule Palette Anniversary Edition, which is $42. I ain't going to lie. The shades look kind of cute. They're like pastel colors with, like, a pop of blue and a pop of green. And a pop of orange, which I actually like all of the shades except for the pop of blue and the pop of green. That's not my shades. But I just don't like this. They have that one big shade that's supposed to be a blush. I don't like how all the shades are different sizes. Some are really tiny. Some are bigger. I don't know. No, it comes with lipsticks. Six lipsticks. Something else. Duo chrome with pink sparkles. No, next. Anti-haul. Told you I was going to be going through this fast. I just don't like Sugar Pills aesthetic. It's not for me. If you like it, that's good for you. <laughs> Next, we have Too Faced. On that note, I need another drink. <laughs> they coming at you with another mini palette. It's one that's called That's My Jam, which looks like it has like a pink, purples. There's that one like orange type shade, and then like a dark like maroon. Or maybe it's like a deeper pink shade. And then they have the other one that's called Let's Play. It looks like a game controller. And I think they're just trying to... And then it looks like neutral. Neutral colors. It has the pinks too, but not like... No purples in here, just pinks. Like a darker pink. It looks like it has the same type of orange shade that's in the That's My Jam palette. No, no, these are $27 a piece. No. <laughs> I know the mini palettes are like the new thing, but no, no thank you. Next, anti-haul. We anti-haul most of Too Faced over here. The only Too Faced I really like is their holiday palettes and the tin packaging. I still want that pumpkin spice palette. I haven't gotten it yet. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it before, <laughs> before it's gone. I already missed out on the mini lipsticks I wanted from them. Next, we have, this is from an indie brand. <clears throat> this is from Gimme Glow. Yeah, give me Glow Cosmetics, and they're coming out with their a Sweet and Sticky palette, which is like a cinnamon bun palette. <laughs> the cinnamon bun palette doesn't appeal to me. It has like that, you know, that buttercream yellow shade, and then there's like that neutral taupe type brown. There is like that darker, it looks like a maroon red, but maybe it's more like a brownish reddish color, and then you have that deeper like burnt orange color and then two shimmers that one doesn't really appeal to me at all so i'm not tempted by that one at all and that one is 30 dollars for six shades i think that's a little expensive but i feel like indie brands are usually a little bit more expensive than mainstream brands sometimes next we have is from jackie Ina and her forever mood you guys, I want to try these candles so bad. I'm hoping that maybe after the holidays they go on sale. Because <laughs> these are the new for the uh, Christmas season. The candle duo sets. You get two duo sets. Each set is $74, though. They're so expensive. They have a Slay Season Duo, which comes with Gingerbread Trap House and You Up. And then they have the Home for the Holidays set which comes with naughty nice and fine pine and they're both 74 dollars for each duo and i really want to try them and i looked on their website and they have even for this 
set for Christmas. They have minis. And they have minis for the fall set that I was eyeballing. So I'm, and they still have them in stock. So I'm kind of hoping. I'm going to look after Christmas to see if they go on sale so I can purchase them. Because everybody is talking about these Jackie Ina candles. And I want them so bad. I want to try them. Usually I love Bath & Body. Bath & Body Works candles are like the first candles I think I've ever used. Where when you light them up it makes your whole room smell good. Well, everybody's talking about how good these candles are. And I want them. This is a haul for me. And I want to get the miniature version, the mini ones, just to try. Because you can get four of the minis and they're $48 for a set of four. And they have the fall candles. And plus, they have these ones here. And saves you a little money. And I'm hoping that it goes on sale after Christmas. So I'm going to be checking the after Christmas sale in there to see if they do. And if they do, I would definitely be picking them up for me to try. I talked a lot about some candles there, didn't I? <laughs> oh! Great. Oops. <laughs> We're just going to leave that there for now until I finish the video. Anyways, <laughs> so next we have from Urban Decay. Decades Mini Eyeshadow Palettes. They're each $25. I think the new trend is apparently mini eyeshadow palettes, and they're just going to jump right on in on that trend. It's an anti-haul for me. None of these appeal to me. One looks like a cassette tape. One says 1993. One says sound soundtrack. The other one says bougie. No. 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 That's an anti-haul for me. I don't need this. It's not any shades that really appeal to me. Some of these shades I already have in other palettes. And I just don't need it. And the, they have the uh, Smashbox Always On Cream Eyeshadows too in this picture. And no, I'm just not a cream eyeshadow person. I like my Super Shocks all over my lids. I like those, which is sort of like a creamy texture, but it's not a cream shadow. But these are in, like, tubes, so it doesn't appeal to me. Anti-haul. Next. <laughs> Next, we have... Who is this? Oh, Beautylish X Sonia, Sonia G. Sorry, not Sonia G. It's Sonia G. And, oh, I added this because I actually am tempted by this one. Do I need it? No. But do I want it? Yes. It would be so easy. You can just throw it in the washer. It's, um... Double, it's a double-sided towel. It's limited edition. It's probably already gone. <laughs> Since it's a double-sided towel designed to help take care of the brushes that she has. But I would use them for any brushes. The front side is 100% cotton. The back is a microfiber. It says after each use, you can wipe your brushes onto the microfiber side. To help remove the excess oils and bacteria, moisture, and product residue off the brushes. It says it extends the life span of your brushes gets the brushes ready for the next use it's twenty three dollars it says it's twenty three dollars we'll see and they were already this was posted on november 29th from trim mood and it's already available it says it came out the 28th on beautylish but I do want to try it. It looks very cute. It's something I think I would like. I feel like you could even use it to wash your brushes if you want it. When you, you know, when you scrub them, you could dry them off on that mat, I feel like. So, I do want to try it. Is it a haul? Do you really need it? Could you probably go out and get a microfiber towel yourself that probably isn't $23? Yeah, but I do want to try it. I'm curious. I think I have to haul that. Oh my God, who am I? <laughs> This next one is a holiday collection from Kiko Milano. This one actually looks pretty nice. I have to say. It looks gorgeous. I'm not going to get it. I didn't I didn't get it because this is probably already out. This was on November 30th. They posted it. it has an eyeshadow palette for $12. It is all shimmers. And I'm not into an all shimmer eyeshadow palette. It says it has five shades of matte. It says matte. Where's matte? It looks all sparkly to me. <laughs> Scissors, so matte, metallic, and sparkly, forever glam, sparkling moments. Okay. And sugar and spice. 
Then there's a, then there's these little, there's another Infinite Sparkle eyeshadow for $9. I guess those are like individuals. There's just a lot of stuff in here. And I'm just not into it because the palettes, the palette, especially the eye palette, to me it looks like it's all shimmers. I don't know where they got that at, but it looks like all shimmers to me. And I'm not going to support Kiko Milano because they need to come out with more shades in their foundations. They just don't have a wide enough shade range. They need to work for deeper skin tones. I'm a plus size woman. So I understand in the fact that I want to be able to go to any store and be able to find my size. You know how much it hurts to be in a plus size person, not being able to shop in any store and find your own size. I can only imagine being a woman of a deeper skin color and not being able to go to any brand that you like and be able to get your foundation or concealer in your color. It's the same type of thing, I feel like. So I cannot support that brand knowing that they don't make deeper foundation shades for ladies of a deeper skin tone. So next we have is from Milani, right? Yep, Milani Cosmetics. They have a whole bunch of new primers. One's called Chill Out. Bright Side, so a brightening primer. I guess the Chill Out one's supposed to help with um, puffiness and redness. They have an SPF one. Skin Quench Hydrating Primer, and then the No Pore Zone. I'm not going to pick these up because right now, I, I don't know. I'm just not into primers. I love my e.l.f. Putty Eye Pro my e.l.f. Uh, Poreless Putty Primer. And I do like the Tatcha Silk Canvas, the liquid one. I have little sample packets of it. So if I get a primer, it's either going to be the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas or the Elf Putty Primer. And to be honest, Elf, if you're watching this, you need to go. You made that poreless putty primer dupe from Tatcha. You need to go and make a dupe for the Liquid Silk Canvas that Tatcha did. Please. I ain't got to spend that money because that's expensive. That stuff is expensive. I want one, but it's expensive. <laughs> I wish Elf would make a liquid version. <laughs> Elf, please make a liquid version of your poreless putty primer. I need it. Next, we have ColourPop. There's quite a bit of ColourPop, let's be honest in here. This one is with Hello Kitty. They're collabing with Hello Kitty. The, the Snow Much Fun Palette. Mini Glitterly Obsessed Quad. Three Luxe Glosses. A fourth Ray of Beauty Peppermint Cookie Lip Care Kit. And two Pressed Powder Blushes. Which the blushes really appeal to me, but they look so pretty in this picture. But there's like 50 million other pictures. I feel like they look different in every picture to me. Because they look so vibrant and pretty here. But I've seen another picture where they almost look the same shade. And they were not as bright and pigmented as they look right here. And the glosses. I wish ColourPop would come out with the gloss that actually showed some type of color on your lips because I feel like all their glosses look the same on my lips. They all look the same on my lips because none of them have enough pigment to them to distinguish from the other. So if you already have one ColourPop or two ColourPop glosses, you have them all pretty much because don't none of them look, have enough pigment to look different on your lips. The eyeshadow palette, just not a color story I'm interested in. It doesn't appeal to me. Even though I love Hello Kitty, this doesn't appeal to me. I grew up with Hello Kitty, loving Hello Kitty. It's an anti-haul. I didn't get it. I don't need it. The end. <laughs> Next. Next, we have from Lights Lacquer. That's Kathleen Lights section. It's an anti-haul for me because I don't paint my nails. My nails are very weak. Brittle nails, they peel, they crack, they break. They only make it till they're so long and then they break on me and I have to cut them off. I don't know. No matter what vitamins I take, my nails don't get very long. So if I do my nails, I use press-on nails from Impress <laughs> for my nails. But I think it looks very pretty. It's the Holiday Special lacquers which I think are very gorgeous they have this really cute green a really cute red and a gold which I think are perfect for the holiday season there's also like a pastel blue and then there's a deeper blue and then there's two different golds one's like a deeper gold and one's like more of a champagne type of gold 
I think they look really cute. I think if you like nail polishes, I've heard really good things about Lights Lacquer and that their nail polish is really good. But I've never tried it myself because I don't really paint my own nails because they break so easy. <laughs> I just get pretzel nails and I use the pretzel nails plus I use a glue to try to keep them on my nails. Next we have House of Siage. The House of Siage will always be anti haunt me. I cannot, I cannot spend that much on perfume or lipstick. <laughs> but this is the Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse collection from House of Siage. And they're collabing with Disney. I want this so bad. It's an anti haul still because I will not, I will not pay the price for this. It's limited edition. And it is... $395 for the perfume, okay? The lipstick case set, $295. I understand it's 18 karat gold. It has sort of artsy crystals in it. And it looks very gorgeous. This would look so beautiful, especially if you have, if you like collect perfumes or something. This would be such a beautiful to add to your collection, setting up with your perfumes. Would look so gorgeous. And it, the smells seems like it would be up my alley but I'm not gonna I'm gonna anti haul it I'm surprised that they even sell these as expensive as they are <laughs> but I do see a lot of brands get um a lot of people get PR from house of Siage, and I want to try it but I just can't get myself to spend that much money that's a no for me next this is Charlotte Tilbury. It's anti-haul too. It's the magic lip oil. So magic about it. <laughs> magic lip oil crystal elixir. Crystal infused tinted lip oil. Enriched with potent plum effect. And ingredients to hydrate smooth and enhance your lips. $40 a piece. Um, No. You want to go to lip oil. Just go to Ulta Beauty. They have a really good lip oil. It's juice infused lip oil. I always put, this is like my second or third thing. I put these on my lips while I'm putting the rest of my makeup on to like moisturize my lips. It does really good for that. <laughs> Just go get a cheap one. Even even ColourPop has lip oils that you can put on your lips. And I've heard really good things about them. I haven't tried them yet, but that's an anti-haul. No. Next. <laughs> Next we have... Beauty Blender. They really keep trying, don't they? They think they're being innovative. They're not. They got Zodiac sign sponges here. Come on, Beauty Blender. Ain't nobody gonna spend $20 just to get their Zodiac sign imprinted in a Beauty Blender. No. You go to Shop Missy, okay? You go to Shop Missy, you get this little pawpaw sponge. It is one dollar and fifty five cents or eight dollars if you want a pack of six it's the same as actually it's better than the beauty blender it's much more softer i don't know it's just i love the shop miss a ones no do not get this y'all don't need it either anti-haul <laughs> who in the world is buying beauty blenders when there's so many good dupes out there let me know down below are y'all buying beauty blenders because I certainly am not. I'm going to go to shop and say get my $1 pawpaw sponge for cheap. <laughs> oh, next we have this with some very exciting news. Sephora is partnering with Kohl's. So they're moving on out of JCPenney's. Probably because a bunch of JCPenney's are closing. Who shops at JCPenney's? I know I didn't. I went in there, I think, maybe a couple times to my JCPenney for the Sephora just to look. But, meh. But now they're going to be coming in Kohl's. So... That's very interesting. <laughs> I kind of wish they would just, instead of incorporating inside of Kohl's, they would just build more single buildings around. Because I have an Ulta Beauty here, but I don't have a Sephora. Pretty sure if I want to go to a Sephora, I have to drive at least an hour away to the city. I'm very excited because we have a Kohl's. So I'm like, mm, am I going to get a Sephora inside of my Kohl's? And I'm curious if it's going to be a little bit better than the one in my JCPenney. Because the one in my JCPenney really wasn't that big and it didn't have everything. So I'm hoping that this one will be a little bit bigger and have a little bit more stuff than my JCPenney one had. But this was not really a haul or anti-haul. This was just I'm excited and I needed to talk about it and it just looked 
I'm just excited. I'm hoping that my Kohl's gets the Sephora since my JCPenney got one. Next, we have JLo Beauty. It's an anti-haul for me. She coming on trying to say that her skin looks like that because of this beauty line. No, your skin looks like that because you Botox. You put Botox in your skin. And to deny it and try to say it's your skincare line that's making your skin look like that, that is a lie. It is a lie. I'm not getting it. You shouldn't get it either. It's expensive. They have a serum that's $79. Wonder Cream for $58. Some Star Filter Complexion Booster for $39. Limitless Glow Face Mask, $18 or $48 for three. Let's see. The Hit Single Cleanser, $38. The Fresh Take Eye Cream, $48. I'd rather spend that money and go get some Glow Recipe. Or you can even, if you want cheaper, you can go and get Good Molecules. I've heard really good things about Good Molecules. Um, good Molecules is um, skincare. I've heard really good things about that. Next, we have Glossier with their holiday collection, which I really don't get. I don't get it. They have a bomb.com roulette. Three surprise flavors for $30. So, it's three bomb.coms, and you could get three random flavors. But why is it roulette? Like, why are we in the casino during the holidays? I know I'm not in no casino during the holidays. <laughs> I, I cannot go to casinos. I want to cry every time I see the money go away. <laughs> but and then they also have this gold kit necklace plus lip gloss for $75. I get that it's a 14 karat gold. Oh, it's only plated. It. This necklace is plated it with 14 karat. No. Uh-uh. And it's a G? No, I'm just not interested. I like their sweatshirts, though. If you like a hoodie, they're sweatshirts. Their hoodies are very good material. They're super thick. They're super long, like a tunic length almost on me. And the inside is very warm and fuzzy. I do like their hoodies, but that, no. We're not going to get that. We have some more Charlotte Tilbury here, which I guess I got to congratulate her for this one because she's getting new Hollywood Flawless Filter shades. She's putting some deeper shades in her Hollywood Flawless Filter. Good for you, Charlotte Tilbury. But why didn't you have? Why haven't you already done this? <laughs> you should have already had deeper shades. Why you gotta go back and add more? <laughs> so it's gonna be in twelve shades now with five new shades. One is gonna be two point five a golden beige for light skin tones. Then four point five a golden beige for medium skin tones. 5.5, which is a neutral caramel for tan skin tones. There's going to be a 6.5, which is a neutral bronze for deep skin tones. And then there's going to be an 8 for a warm ma mahogany is the shade. And it's for very deep skin tones. So I do like that they came out with more skin tones. But yeah, no. I'm not going to get it. I already have. I actually already have the Hollywood Flawless Filter. So I don't need to get it anymore. I just don't know where I put it. I can't find it. But I do have it somewhere around here in my mess. And then they're coming out with the Hollywood Flawless Eye Filters. It's an eyeshadow palette. Is this going to be like the new Pillow Talk? You know, they did Pillow Talk everything. Now they're start going to start doing Flawless. Hollywood Flawless everything. But I'm not interested in the eyeshadows. They look like they could be. Well, I don't think they're all shimmers. It looks like there's some... Like two neutrals and two shimmers. But I'm just not into it. No. Next. I'm going to have to start cutting some out. Because I'm already at 30 minute mark. And I have a lot more to go. <laughs> I need to go faster. Next we have Makeup Revolution. They have their new Forever Limitless Allure Eyeshadow Palette. 27 shades. It looks like, it looks like the Forever Flawless Eyeshadow Palette that they have. But like a bigger version and incorporated more neutral shades in there, I think. Where the Forever Flawless looks more like the the new nudes palette, which is more mauvey tones. It has like a few like shimmers in there. But I don't need this. I have the Forever Flawless one. So it's an anti haul for me. Also, it's gonna be twenty five dollars and makeup revolution is not worth twenty five dollars. Next we have Glam Light with their Pie palette 
for the holidays. It has a cherry pie blush in the middle. And then it, this color story really appeals to me. It's more the color story I like. Pinky, purple. There is that pumpkin orange shade. And the mud pie looks like a reddish brownish color. But I said anti-haul. I'm not going to get it. I don't need it. It's and it was coming in their holiday themed fruity box, which already launched. And I don't know if they still have some. But it's $45 for the box. And I d definitely didn't get it because it's come with like a cookies and cream highlighter. It's a loose highlighter. But it definitely looked like it was for deeper skin tones, which I love. But it wasn't for my skin tone, so I didn't get it. Next we have, um, oh, Jouer. <laughs> I was like, who is this? This is Jouer Cosmetics, something extra special for ZZ's B-Day. B -day. Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder in a new translucent shade and chic limited edition packaging. Packaging does look very pretty. I'm curious how this powder is, but I'm not going to get it. It does say that 20% of the sales of this product will be donated to UNICEF through the month of December. So if you want this, you should definitely purchase it during December. Because UNICEF is a great charity organization. But I'm not, I don't think I'm going to pick it up. I have too much buying to do for everybody else. And it doesn't really say here how much it costs. But I know Jouer can be a little bit more expensive. It's just, it's not for me. I already have some translucent powders. And I'm not much into the pressed powder. I do do the pressed powders like under my eyes and stuff. But I like loose powders better than pressed powders. Next we have... Another hard seltzer. This one's ruby grapefruit. And we also have Physician's Formula. This one's pretty good. It tastes like grapefruit. So they're adding uh, new additions to their Murray Murray Butter family. A new line, the Butter Believe It by Physician's, Physician's Formula. It has a Butter Believe It putty. They trying to get in on this on this poreless putty primer stuff so they're gonna have their butter believe it primer i'm curious <laughs> i am curious about it but <laughs> so they're gonna try to dupe the tatcha too are they and they're gonna also have a butter believe it skin mist for a radiant flawless airbrush finish weightless formula smooth skin texture sets and refreshes makeup there's also going to be a new sharpener Universal 3-in-1 pencil sharpener with a removable lid and an adapter ring that can be fitted to work with most pencil sizes. I am curious to try it. I'm not going to get it right now. I get that they're trying to add on to their butter line because that's their most popular line. But anti-haul. Next. <laughs> I don't need to waste my money on it. I already have my Elf Poreless Putty Primer. I'm good with that. I'm not going to buy anything from drugstore that has to do with the Tatcha dupe unless they dupe the liquid silk canvas. That I will buy. <laughs> Until then, I'm not buying any more, any more poreless putty primers except for my e.l.f. I'm still using it and I love it. Next, we have Fenty and I actually want to try this. <laughs> Now, this is a haul for me. I just ain't gotten it yet. Maybe after the holidays, after I've done shopping for everybody else. This is the gloss that we are all obsessed with. Oh, really? Are we? <laughs> and I have a new finish. It's the Gloss Bomb Cream Color Drip Lip Cream. Wow. <laughs> Medium to full coverage color. This is going to be like a real color gloss. That you're going to be able to see. It says, and it has zero shimmer. has a high shine finish. It's buildable with full intensity pigment. And brilliant shine. With an extra, extra large wand. So it's going to have the same wand as their normal cream gloss. Their normal gloss bombs. It says, no sticky feel. Has an added of peach vanilla scent. Plus vitamin A to nourish lips. They're going to be... $19 each the same as the um same as their other gloss bombs the two shades I'm really interested in is Mauve wives, which is like a mauvey pink. I like cookie jar, which is like a chocolate Caramel shade. It's like a lighter brown and they have Fenty glow You know, they had to have a Fenty glow because that was like the original of the gloss bombs But I'm interested in this. I'll probably pick up one shade Maybe the Fenty glow because it's the best for the season did it say when they go? They're probably already out. They're going to be available December 10th. 
they're not out yet but they're going to be available so they'll be out probably by the time you see this next we have juvia's place they are adding on to their lipsticks this is their reds and berries lipsticks where they had the nudes before these are going to be the reds and berries they look cute but i'm not much of a red or a bear well i am kind of a fan of berries but i don't wear much red so i'm probably not going to pick this up has a bunch of lipsticks plus there's more glosses that they're adding to it and there's two more lip liners to go with it looks like two more lip liners to go with the lip glosses and the the li lipsticks i think it looks very cute i think if you're into berry tones and red tones it is really good i really like their their nude lipsticks i have the mauvey ones and a peachy one the packaging is super cute i love the ombre packaging on them these ones are going to have the same type of ombre packaging and i like the 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 way they look because they almost look like the charlotte tilbury lipsticks but they're really i like them i think they're really good lipsticks if it's something that you're interested in i'm not going to pick it up because i'm more into nude tones than reds or berries but if it's something you're into why not <laughs> next we have who is this <laughs> Oh, this is Too Faced. Y'all see this picture here? There is hearts in those lip balms. Do they not just look like the elf lip balms that just came out with the hearts in the center? And they have these lip and cheek tint color adopting lighter than air blossom unique to your body chemistry ain't nothing unique to your body chemistry no Too Faced stop bye next I'm not interested in that <laughs> oh there is something new from glow recipe I want to try I want to try glow recipe so bad more of their stuff I have the pineapple sea bright serum but it's just it's so good it makes my face look so smooth, brighter. It helps out with texture. But Glow Recipe is coming out with a new watermelon glow niacinamide, niacinamide dew drop serum. It's coming out on the 8th, which I believe that's today. I could be wrong. <laughs> but it says it's supposed to create an effortless glow, a hydrate skin for a luminous but never oily complexion without the use of micro glitter or pearls and this is aka, AKA no gray cast it's also one of our most versatile products yet if it's perfectly in your skin tear and makeup routine here are just a few ways to use it i would just incorporate it as a serum within my routine of skincare i'm very interested to try this it's definitely a haul for me someday I will try it. <laughs> There's so many serums I want to try. They also have that plum one I want to try. So it's a haul for me. I'm going to definitely pick this up eventually sometime. <clears throat> next we have elf and there's only this one and then there's one more and they're both from elf elf has a new mascara coming out called lash it loud volumize amplify and define your lashes with its molded brush that coats every lash with intense black pigment it's coming out on december 9th too which is tomorrow i believe and for beauty squad and loyalty program members it's not coming out until the 11th for non-members but you can sign up it's very easy it doesn't cost anything <clears throat> i'm already a member of the loyalty program and it's pretty much like alta where you you get points for everything you buy from elf and then you can use it for money off of your next order from them i've been using it and um I don't have the picture right here, but I've seen a picture of the wand. The wand almost looks like the wand on the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I'm very interested in this. I'm going to definitely pick this up eventually. It's a haul from me. The packaging looks so gorgeous. It's rose gold. And it's like the first new mascara I've seen in a while from e.l.f. And I'm hoping that it's going to be good because I've never tried Elf's mascaras, but I have never heard anything about them. So I'm assuming that their other ones are not that good. 
I'm going to try this when it comes out. Maybe not when it comes out. Probably after Christmas, I'll buy it and try it. But next we have this I'm so excited about. This is e.l.f. 2. The, not only do they have that Lash It Out Loud mascara, but they're going to have the new camo CC cream. You guys, this packaging looks like the cosmetic CC cream. Oh. I'm going to have the picture here for you. Let me see if I can dig out my cosmetic CC cream so you can see. This is it, right? No, nope, that's my skin look foundation. Where is my CC? Here it is. Except for it's black. But here is my cosmetic CC cream. And you see it with the picture over there. I think it's going to be like a dupe for this. And it looks like they're going to have darker shades than it cosmetics does. So, yay for e.l.f. The only difference is this one is where this one is SPF 50. The camo CC cream is only going to have SPF 30. But, you know I want to pick this up. And I'm probably going to do it side by side. I have this in the shade Fair Light. And they don't have deep, deep tones like e.l.f.'s going to have. So, if you've been wanting to try the cosmetic CC cream, I feel like you could probably get the elf camo cc cream and try it it says it's supposed to it says the camo cc cream color correcting cream for a natural looking complexion but with medium to full coverage which is like the e cosmetic cc cream it has spf 30 and it hydrates the skin it's infused with skin loving ingredients such as peptides and niacinamide 20 shades and it's going to be 14 dollars a piece that is by far the most expensive I've seen from e.l.f., I think. But I want to try it. This is so exciting. It's been so long since e.l.f. has come out with a new complexion product for foundation or anything. I have the Flawless Finish Foundation. And it's a really good foundation. And I'm so excited to try this. This is a haul for me. I'm going to get it probably after Christmas. Because uh, I'm not spending anything until after Christmas. I have a few last people to buy for. But... It's a haul for me. You're going to see it on my channel. It might be after Christmas, but it's going to be here. <laughs> and with that, that is everything that I had saved so far. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and cheers. I hope you grabbed yourself a drink and had a little drink with me while we talked new makeup releases. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you're not yet subscribed, what are you doing? You should definitely consider subscribing to me because I love talking on new makeup. I love doing TJ Maxx and Marshalls hauls. I just, I love shopping at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and checking out the new, what new things you can find there. And then I just love doing, trying out new makeup. I don't know. I love doing everything over here. <laughs> I just love makeup. I love makeup. <laughs> but, um, and if you haven't yet, you should definitely ring the bell too. That way it'll notify you whenever I upload. I normally upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But sometimes I throw in an extra video and you wouldn't know unless you ring the bell. So it'll notify you when I throw in the extra video. Because sometimes I do add a fourth video during the week. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.